Rocket! Oh, yeah. Crap. Hey, you all right, Rocket? Uh, uh, I feel like I just boozed for a week and took a header into Drax's fist. What happened? How'd you end up in the... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get tracks. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. Awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. Something small. It's still fresh. Must be close. There is no escape. you, Papa. You should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. <laughs> yes, Kamaria. You surprised me. I knew I could do it. You are getting stealthier. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long.
before you leave. I promised you. The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. They are far too childish for me. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. <clears throat> Scream if you need to dull the pain. There is not shame. In <laughs> that was loud enough to scare your enemies. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... what if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. Then you run, and live to fight another day. Great warriors always use their minds, like I do. Yes. I will be cautious. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. And I will be more proud than my simple words can express. It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said. It's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! At least I get to spend another season with you, even though I let you down. That is not possible. I am proud of you no matter what you do. Thank you, Papa. I will be stronger for you. Papa, we should go home now. You have to let me go sometime. I want to leave this place of my shame and begin practicing for next year.
should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! This is where we run. Intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. The ship! There's my girl! Hurry, Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Take a seat, we're leaving. Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am who? A tree? Stop yanking my tail! It's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this that. case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Quill. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! Feel something. Someone is starving. No, bigger. My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big blue. Yes, big blue is a perfect name for this beast. Punch it, Pete. Not today. Dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big ol' stomach. Nebula, look at her. What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. It can't be put back together. This time. Honestly... Feels good to have parts of me. Just there. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. 
wanted. <laughs> Maybe then I could have slept. We're gonna get you help, okay? Rocket can fix anything. <sighs> Not this time. <laughs> Cascading system failures. The cybernetic parts of me are going dark. Organics will go offline much quicker. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? <laughs> sound corny but it's never too late to make things right you can always make a change yeah maybe you're right thank you peter for listening to us <laughs> whatever it is i'll tell her what you said i've been afraid of how she might react for so long but I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to? I don't know people uh, trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I love you. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's, really. Is Nebula still... I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news, too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work.
Gamora, you don't need to be here right now. We understand. This is better for me. I want to help. In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. Being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Ah! Oh, please don't tell me the answer. Time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um... Why don't you check with him next time? Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Mora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Gamora. That stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you, I think.
rocket. Any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work in progress. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of Neb... No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! Wow. Charming. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Had to put in some elbow grease. Sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Oh man. I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior. Like Thanos trained Nebula. St Sorry, busy. We can talk about this later. Very well, Peter. Rocket? Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do? Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No! work out. Oof. What a way to go. Easy 
big boy. Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Drax, I know you're dealing with a lot, but so is Gamora. I have heard the news. It is unfortunate. Do you want to talk about Nebula? Nebula knew that we were better off alone. I feel so guilty for what happened to her. Bingo. Our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. You... You kept your knives, though, right? Hovat and Kameria? Yes. But perhaps I should give them new, less familial names. Mork and Mindy. They were great warriors of Earth? Totally! Well, one was Terran, the other was from Orc. And I have given everything away, except Mork and Mindy. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. 
okay? I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh, man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? I spent money buying